How are we YouTube? George here. Hope you're well. And uh, another 2K. Uh, fortunately this one doesn't have any big holes in the front of it. Like the last one. Cosmetically it's uh... Yeah it's 9 out of 10 I would say. <clears throat> Just running it off. Um, bench supply here uh, this thing was brought from America so still got the 110 volt um, AC system in it so obviously that ain't gonna fly here uh, counter module is okay she's a mile off tune Like that should be 405 so she's in the notch there so it's like seven six cases off Um, that's an upper not too bad there it's <clears throat> three cases off the only place it's right is lower sideband Um, usual Dirty controls, but they're all tight, which is good. Now, some have a go here, oh, tried some breed of a conversion here, so that brings you there and no place else. So, right from the outset, this is going to be a two part video minimum. So that brings us back to mid band. If we flick it down, brings us to see where's the top one bring us? 426, 426. So obviously something has gone awry with this uh, conversion. So probably what I'll end up doing is I'll do <clears throat> what I need to do with it. Uh, bring it down to Ray then and get him to uh, bang in one of his modules into it probably. So this one will be here for a while. On its holidays. If a uh, stuck meter, we'll fix that. I don't know, does a signal meter work? I think the hard stop against the left there. Almost like it's wired up backwards. Hmm. I'll put it on the. Uh, I'll put it on the counter, or not the counter, on the. What you call it? The um, <laughs> generator. Let's see what's happening. Hold on. Yeah. So we have it on the old generator here. And a uh, little past what it should be, but the meter works, which is good. So that leaves us with just one meter to fix. <clears throat> and uh, we'll do something about the light in there. All the other lights are good, so... We won't uh, have to go too mad. We'll have a poke around inside. And uh, see what else we find. And just before we do that, let's see if we any, uh, oh yeah, we've transmit, one, two. Uh, I got a bit more. Alright, she's healthy. Don't have any swing on AM though. Oh, there it is now. One, two. Okay. <clears throat> so it works. And uh, let's pop the hood off now and see what we find.
Well, it's uh, not too bad in there, as Evie would say. I've seen worse. So we just need to have a poke around here and see what the deal is. What was that? Okay, that's a very lazy way of doing it. However, uh, it's in good nick inside. Now the one thing that's concerning me is when I took it apart, all the small M3 screws that hold on the inner case were all mismatched and they weren't even tight. So that's telling me, like even the screws here are missing out of the out of the bezel. So that's not held on. So it's like this thing was thrown back together in a big hurry. And uh, that can be alarm bells. So uh, we'll get the bottom off and see uh, what we find. Right. Oh, the radio is very clean inside. I'll give it that. Um, the wires coming from here to our speaker switch. This is where our half-baked conversion is done. So you see it there. It's a crystal switch arrangement. So, uh, you know, that was the way things were done <laughs> 40 years or more uh, ago. So uh, we get ready to undo all that nastiness and put in one of his conversion boards in there and uh, it'll give us low high plus 10kc which is all you need and uh, I'll take care of all the cosmetic stuff between this and that and uh, we'll see where we go from there very very clean inside very Compared to the last one that was here, that was a, a big, big mess. But we made a nice job of it in the finish. And, uh, yeah, this was an eBay job from America, I believe. And, uh, not too much hacking has been done in there. You know. It's uh, relatively clean. I want all this uh, is dealt with here. We'll have the basis of a good radio. So we'll leave it there for part one of this video. And uh, we'll come back to you when we get a bit further along. Bye for now.